Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to make colors pop and look amazing in Lightroom. Theme tune! <laughs> not quite sure, it's not a dance, it's more of a martial arts thing. Okay. <clears throat> So, today I'm going to be using this photograph that was sent in via the Photos in Colour Facebook page from the Photos in Colour community. It was sent in by somebody called Maurice Killian. And it's a beautiful photograph. It looks like it was taken in Italy or somewhere in Europe overlooking the Med. It's a beautiful photograph. But he said he was having some problems making the colours really come alive for what he saw while he was there. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you how I would do this. So this is the photograph here and doesn't it just look fantastic? It was taken on the Nikon D5100 ISO 400 and uh, focal length 22 millimeters f6. So settings are great. It's lovely bright image. So there's a lot that we can do with this. So let's first of all, let's jump in and have a look where I would start. So I think it's exposed really well. What I do is I pull back those highlights just a little bit, lift up my shadows just for the colors down in this section. And I think honestly, that's great. Now what we could do is boost the vibrance. But you see what we're going to do here is we're boosting the whole image. And the problem is to try and get the yellows to come out, we've got to boost the blues and there's too much blue in the image. So what's happening is it's kind of ruining this image. So instead we need to do it locally here. So what I'm gonna do is take the brush tool and I'm literally going to boost up here the saturation. Oh, and all I'm going to do is paint over this area. Really, really rough and really simply. Oh, I want to make sure that I run 100% flow and my auto mask is not on. Hit O so I can see what I'm doing. Now I'm not being too delicate around the blue area. The reason is this. I'll then come into erase auto mask boost the flow and essentially what I can do here, watch, is because the blue is a very simple line for it, I can just whip around the outside and Lightroom's going to do an amazing job at kind of masking. Now, it's it doesn't matter if it's not perfect either because of there's so much color in this image. Okay, that looks great. Hit O so it's not red anymore. And now what I can do is I can start editing this section alone. Now I'm going to boost the saturation, obviously. I'm also going to boost the contrast. I'm going to lift the highlights and I'm going to lift the shadows. And then what I'm going to do is watch, I'm actually going to add yellow because the sun that's on this image is what's going to make this come alive. And look at how this is now popped, but I haven't ruined it by adding the yellow. It's because the yellow is essentially coming from the sun. Okay, so it's just essentially moving the white balance. So let's look at the before and the after at this point. Huge changes already and it's starting to look wonderful. The next thing I would do is go to HSL, okay? For obvious reasons, that's what we're looking at. So first of all, the blue, okay, which is the C. What I would do is I would pull this back a little bit, but I don't wanna go too far because it's gonna look fake. Pull it down a little bit, but what I'm gonna want to do is all of these yellows, I want to add some brightness and lift them out. But that is also going to kind of pull back the color. So I go into saturation and I'm gonna lift the saturation of my yellows my oranges, my reds, basically all of my colors that are not blue. And now look at the difference of the image, before and after, yet the C hasn't really changed very much, which is great. Now what I can do is start playing around with how the colors I want to look. I'm gonna leave everything where it is apart from aqua, which is the, sorry, uh, blue, which is the C. Okay, and I'm gonna pull this slightly towards the purples just because it's gonna make that a little bit richer. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Now the next thing I would do is go down to the calibration and I can do some things down here. Watch what happens with the color when I change the hue of the red. I can make the buildings go all red or all yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna go slightly towards the yellows because there is more yellows in there and I'm gonna boost the saturation. Now in the blues, I don't want to be actually boosting the saturation because that's remember how I ruin the image. So instead on the greens, I'm gonna boost the saturation and watch when I move this around as well, go all the way to the yellows, but instead I'm gonna go the other direction to bring out all of the reds, okay? So what you can see now 
if I turn this on and off, the difference is fairly dramatic. I think I've gone too far here. And before and after, now we're starting to go somewhere. Now the next thing I would want to do would go up to the graduated filter and it's not a tilt shift effect like I've done a tutorial on, but if I go down here and I do want to bring back the sharpness so that it's gonna go nice and blurry up here just to really bring some focus in. And then go to the brush, go to erase, auto mask, okay? And it's really simple. I'm lit, in fact, I'm gonna go do it the other way, no auto mask. I'm gonna paint out all of this, okay? But you can see I'm painting out some of the, the C again, but remember that's simple because the C is a solid color, so Lightroom can see it for when it does its masking. So if I hit O, you can see that what I've done is that I've kind of ruined it around that edge. But that doesn't matter, because now if I add it back in, auto mask, what Lightroom is able to do is use the blue as its base, and it's gonna mask that almost perfectly around the outside of this. That now is starting to look absolutely amazing. So now, now let's have a quick look and look how this is now coming alive. And I love it. Let's come back out here. Let's look at the before and let's look at the after. Now it's starting to really do something. The next thing I want to do is come up here and I am gonna lift the vibrance just a little bit, not too much though, and the clarity up. And then what I want to do is play around inside here just because my reds I wanna boost, okay? Just the reds, because it should be a really hot image. And if I'm gonna boost the reds, the greens I need to boost just a little bit as well, but not as much. There we go, that's all. And that for me, I'm gonna add in a little bit of an S curve, so boost the highlights and reduce the shadows. A little bit too far on the shadows. Too far on the highlights, in fact. There we go. So let's look at the before and the after. Now for me, the image is now dramatically different. What I do want to do is go back to the whites and I'm gonna pull the whites back just a little bit there. And I am in fact gonna boost this sky by adding a graduated filter. I'm gonna push it towards the blue, like so, and boost that and bring the highlights back. And I'm actually gonna bring the exposure down, I've gone too far. Okay, now I'm pretty happy with that come out. Let's go to the before and the after. Now for me, that is exactly how this image was probably seen when Maurice was looking at it. So one more time, the before and the after. So that's how I think you make colors look absolutely amazing in Lightroom. Now, if you like this tutorial and you think I did a great job, give me a thumbs up and also leave a comment. Tell me what you think about my tutorials and if you'd like me to do anything else. Please subscribe to my channel because I've got loads of more tutorials coming. But this was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tune. Do I do it at the end? I do do it at the end. Theme tune. It's probably playing now. <laughs>